Hey guys, it's Eric with Scott Lowry Marketing and today I'm going to cover MailChimp three ways, I guess. So I'm going to show you within the command system where you can connect MailChimp and why you would want to connect it more than one time. In some cases, you will have to connect it more than once at least to make sure that you're using all the features that are available within the command platform. So the first thing I'm going to do here is, of course, I'm logged in to command and I'm logged into my free MailChimp account. Um, if you don't have an account, um, MailChimp is free. You can just use an email address and create an account. Each account will receive um, up to 2,000 contacts that can be stored in the um, platform, as well as um, you can do one audience. So as you can see here, uh, a free account gets 2,000 contacts and you can create one audience. If you need more than one audience, and an audience to MailChimp would be considered a mail list. If you need more than one mail list for whatever reason, then you're going to have to upgrade your account and go through their subscriptions and pick whichever one works best for you. But up to 2,000 contacts, you can use a free account, one audience, and typically for most users, that's more than enough. So that's how that would work. So we're going to come back to MailChimp in a couple seconds because I'm going to have to create an audience before I sync my contacts here. But I'll cover that in a little bit later. So back into, into command, I have, I'm, I'm on my command platform, and if I click on my name on the right hand side and I go down to settings, this is going to bring you to all the applications that you can connect within the command system, of course. So if I scroll down, you'll see here that, that MailChimp is on here twice. Most people are like, why does it have to be on there twice? I connected it once and it's still not working. So this one here as it's labeled email campaigns. This is how command manages your email campaigns and all that good stuff. So that's why you would want to connect that one. If you want to util utilize the email campaigns, and you're going to have to connect MailChimp that way. Of course, once you create your account. And on the bottom here, it says email marketing, manage drip campaigns as well as mailers. There are situations where you're going to want or may need to send an individual email to one of your clients for whatever reason from the command system. So that's when you would want to connect command, uh, MailChimp through here. Okay. I'll give you an example of when you would want to connect MailChimp to send a regular email that's not a marketing piece. Every time people think of MailChimp, they of course think marketing because when you're doing, when you're using MailChimp, you typically are doing a marketing piece of some sort or trying to figure something out along those lines. So if I wanted to send a regular email, I'm going to click on a good example is opportunity. So if I go up here to the KW, it'll expand my menu and then it'll let me know what these little pictures, of course, mean. So I'm going to click on opportunities. And under cultivate under listing, I have a training opportunity that I use. So I'm going to click on this one. And then you see here under offers, you can keep track of all the offers that you receive on any one of your listings, of course. So um, this is one of the ones that, I mean, you know, it's not on paper yet, but let's say that you received an offer on one of your listings and you want to send that in an email form to your clients. You can, of course, create the offer and go through and enter in all the information. But here on the right hand side, you can, of course, either accept or, you know, if you have more than one, you can accept or reject. This is just kind of for your records. But if you click here, you can click send offer and it will send it automatically to the email of the opportunity of the contact, right? So then you can send that off to them. Um, you can add attachments if you'd like, and that's how you would send a regular email. But for this to work, you have to have your MailChimp account connected to it under that section that talks about mail drip campaigns and emailers. So that's an example of that. And then the other example, of course, would be under campaigns here. If I go to the campaigns application under email, if you wanted to either create a new email campaign or um, send out a piece, you'd have to have a MailChimp account connected because here under configure lists, which is where you're, you're, the people you're going to send the uh, email to, this comes directly from MailChimp. So the reason I don't have anything here is because A, I don't have my account connected and B, I haven't created a list or how MailChimp calls them an audience in the um, MailChimp platform. So we're going to do both of those things today. So we're going to click on our names on the right hand side and we're going to go down to settings. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is connect our MailChimp account. We're going to connect it, the, the two options down here, which of course are going to enable us to be able to manage our campaigns as well as send out emails. But then if um, then we're going to cover the third option, of course, is the optional option for, um, I'm trying to say that quick three times, for you to send things out. So I'm going to click connect. My computer remembers my password. That's connected. Then we're gonna click here, connect. Of course, you have to have your MailChimp password. So those two are connected, okay.
So now we're going to go over to MailChimp because as I mentioned before, MailChimp's going to feed command my mail list for me to send out pieces, marketing pieces, right? So I'm going to go here under MailChimp and I don't have an audience created yet, but I'm going to create one. You can either, you, we have to create the audience in MailChimp, but you have two options. We're going to create the list. I'm going to call this one KW command just for this example. And then the email address you want it to come from. So where you want the audience to see or reply to is important. So make sure you select the correct one there. So I'm just going to put that at KW email because that's the one that I use for that. Put your name on there. And then here, you typically want to put something, you're receiving this email because you opted in on my website or I met you at an open house. For this example, I'm just going to put real estate so we can move forward. But of course, you want to put on here how you met your clients, at least for this specific list. Um, you can also do something, you know, we're sending you special offers, real estate, market update, what, a ha what have you. I'm just going to put real estate for there. Of course, you want to make sure that this reflects the address of your office. And then there's other options here from a setting perspective that you can, um, of course, enable. I'm not gonna enable any of those for today's example. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. So now I've created my list slash audience because MailChimp calls audience, uh, list audience. So now you can see that I have no contacts under this. So now how do I get contacts here? So this is what I meant. You have the option of connecting MailChimp one more time into your command system, or you can opt to just upload contacts, you know, add contacts here, either one at a time or import a list if you have the list ready. I'm going to choose to sync it to PySync because I don't have any other things synced and it's easier for me that, it's, that way it's more efficient. But you can choose either way. So this would be the third option why you would want to connect MailChimp to command. So I'm going to go back to command and I'm under the applications. And once again, how you get here, you click on your name and you go to settings. It brings you here and each agent, each command account will receive one free PySync. So I'm going to click on connect more. If you want to connect more than one application, of course, you can select from uh, PySync subscriptions or packages that they offer and pick whichever one works best for you. Most users are okay with a free account. So I'm going to click type in MailChimp to do this. Click on MailChimp. I'm going to click on create new because I've had my account connected other times and creating new works best. So I'm gonna click add new, the little box is gonna pop up. I'm gonna select my pre-saved password, log in. And then of course it should give me the option of selecting which list. So yes, let's do next. My audience should pop up here, I don't see it. So let me just go here and make sure that this saved. I'm back in MailChimp, my audience is there. So let me just, let's try that again. So I'm going to close this, connect. <clears throat> I'm either going to search for MailChimp or I'm going to actually type it in. It's over here. Add new account. Click on my password here. There it is. So now you can see that my KW command audience slash list, which is what they call, which is what command uh, MailChimp calls list, audience is now available for me to select. I still have no contacts in there, but the reason I'm connecting this is to add my contacts, all of my contacts from command to that audience in MailChimp. Okay. So I'm going to click next. We're synced. Cool. So now there's one more thing that you want to do here. So we only need three things for, for command to send to MailChimp. That would be the um, client's first and last name, as well as their email address for us to um, work with them on an email campaign or marketing piece or what have you. The um, So you can, of course, add more here. I'm not going to add more for today's example, but you can get creative if you wanted to import more information such as tags or phone numbers, whatever you need in MailChimp. Here under this section, you have to select which system is going to win in the case of duplicate information. So I'm going to select KW command because I'm using KW command in this example to manage my database. I'm not using MailChimp. Of course, as I showed you guys, it was a new account and I had zero contacts in there. So I'm going to choose KW command because that makes sense for me. The only thing I'll tell you about this is you want to choose whichever one, whichever one of the systems you're making edits in. 
whichever one you choose to win is the one you want to choose, whichever one you make edits in is the one you want to choose, because then you're going to confuse the system if you're choosing command to win by making edits in MailChimp, because then command's always going to find that there's different information in MailChimp and it's going to cause a little bit of confusion. So just remember, whichever one you select here is the place you want to go to to make edits if someone changes their name or email address or those kind of updates. So I'm going to select command. I'm going to go down to the bottom and click sync. Sync. Yeah, that'll take a second. And it's still seeing zero, but in the next couple seconds, you should see here, if I scroll over, that this is going to start syncing my contacts. There you go. We're at 100, and pretty soon it should match my database of 1,008 contacts in MailChimp as well. So this is done. We can close this out. But I do want to show you guys one last thing. So if I go back to the command home page, right, this is the home page, and I click on the KW, and I'm going to go back to campaigns and click on emails. If I click on configure list, hopefully now I have a list there. And it's loading, so let's hope that it's working. I just did it, so let's refresh. Sometimes I... There you go. There's my command list that has 345 contacts and counting. Of course, it'll continue to increase until all my contacts from command make it into MailChimp. But now I have a list here from um, MailChimp that will allow me to send my marketing pieces to from that's connected to command. Okay. So if I edit a contact in command, then of course that'll reflect in MailChimp and that will work without you having to do any extra work or ever having to log into MailChimp again. Um, in this case, remember, you want to do the update in the application that you chose to win. In my case, it was command. And the other thing I'll show you is if I go to campaigns again, and I click emails, and I click create a new campaign, and I do emails again, <clears throat> you can, of course, name your campaign. It's going to come from my email address, which is the account that I'm linked to MailChimp. But you see here where it says this recipient list this list is feeding from command from mailchimp this is the, the way that you get it to feed that list okay so that is my tip for today hopefully that made uh some good sense and you guys enjoyed it hope you have a good day and thanks bye